Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Uh, this will cover career and finance and love and romance. Um, so if you need to get in contact with me, all links are below. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius Collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for love and romance for Aquarius. Love and romance. Let's Love and romance. Love and romance. Love and romance. Okay. Ace of Cups. Very nice. So some of you could have new love. Or this is just you maybe redefining yourself. This could even be a makeover. This could uh, be also you getting in touch with your emotions, your true emotions. Um, you're getting in touch with what you truly want. In a person you also are getting in touch with you and what you bring to the table and maybe some things that you need to um, fix you may be dealing with a situation where um, I don't know you love a person more than they love you or vice versa um, yeah this could be a new friendship too let me see three of swords so some of you could be dealing with someone that um, you know doesn't see things the way you see them or they don't want you the way you want them or vice versa there could be heartbreak some of you are trying to come out of this energy some of you have isolated yourself or alienated yourself you know you're not talking to anybody you're not really engaging what is this about yeah three of cups the chariot Okay, so if somebody could not be engaging with you, communication, it's been miscommunication, it's been heartbreaking. Um, somebody's communication with you has been maybe little to none. Some, someone here wants to reconcile, someone here wants to come back together, but somebody is, um, more so focused on themselves and their career aspirations, you know, for themselves. They're not really focused on partnering. Somebody is ignoring the, the other person. Somebody's going to demand that somebody communicates with them. Somebody's giving just a little because they've already doomed this relationship from the start. And they feel like somebody, someone is definitely of two minds about a, um, a romantic connection. So they feel like it's, it's best to just kind of keep this at bay. Someone doesn't want to re-engage. Yeah. What is this for the Aquarius? This love relationship. What is this for the Aquarius? Somebody wanted to at least have a friendship, but somebody is still hurt, heartbroken. Somebody wants to reconcile and come back together. Um, but somebody's like, okay, I'm just going to do me. I'm just going to focus on me. Yeah, because someone is still broken up about this. Someone could be wanting their friend back, but yeah. Feeling like something got, is lost. Now they're really feeling somebody's lost here. Somebody tore down a relationship and now they're feeling the loss of this person. Could be you, Aquarius, could be another person. But now somebody is on the fence about, you know, maybe reconciling. What's the outcome here for the Aquarius? What's the outcome? Definitely somebody's on the fence, the Nine of Wands. They're not sure if they should fight for this or give this time or give it energy. They could be ignoring you or vice versa. This is what you're doing. Somebody feels like you are a soulmate or maybe there needs to be a level of maturity 
emotional maturity that needs to happen um, in, in order for them to come back um, to you. It's, it's like somebody still has a love for you, but they're so hurt at whatever happened or whatever transpired to the point where they're, they're standing away from this. It's like they don't want to get burned. They don't want to get hurt again. But what they're keeping from you is that they don't think that this is over. And that they, they eventually do want to reconcile with you and come back to you. But um, I don't think right, not now. What's going on for Aquarius and career and finance? Career and finance for the Aquarius. Career and finance. All right, career and finance. All right, uh, your cards don't want to come out of clear. Um, Knight of Swords, some of you could be changing jobs or you're very tunnel vision on something happening. You, it's, it has to happen, it must happen. You know, whatever this thing is, it's like you need it to happen. You needed it to happen like yesterday, like last week, you know? Um, you're after this, whatever this may be. What is this about for the Aquarius? It's like you, you're so focused on this, yeah. It's like you're waiting for the perfect time, timing for change or a yes answer. It's something that's still up in the air. You're waiting for approval. Right now, you could be, you know, going back and forth, transferring money. You could be at a place of just trying to keep everything up in the air in terms of your finances, balancing your books. You know, that's where you are. It says it's not stressful for you. You're handling it. What is this about for the Aquarius for career and finance? The high priestess. It's like you know that something is coming in for you. You need to get more information. It's like you know that something is coming in for you. The Four of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. Don't get so emotionally withdrawn. Yeah, the Ten of Cups, whatever this is, it's, it's going to make you very happy. Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Six of Pentacles. So it gives you opportunity to kind of rest and relax in the fact that, you know, money is, is uh, available. Wow. Six of Wands, whatever this is, it's going to happen. It's just like the universe is just saying, Focus on other things also. Do what you need to do to be prepared. Four of Cups. Be prepared for this money or this opportunity. When preparation meets opportunity, you know, there's success. So th the universe wants you to be prepared. When you, they don't want you to get something and then you're trying to figure it out while you have it you already need to know what you're going to do with it what's the outcome here for a career career and finance some of you want to go into more of a service-based type of industry or field you need to think about how that looks for you with the outcome for career and finance Very nice. Justice and Ace of Pentacles. You get what you want. Um, maybe a windfall. You'll be able to pay off debts. Someone will, wow, repay you. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Success, help in business. Um, promotion. You're going to get what you want here. <coughs> Excuse me be an opportunity for growth <clears throat> this is why the universe wants you to be prepared because 
they're going to give you this opportunity and it's going to balance things out for you in terms of your finances. But in order to see this, you need to be prepared. You need to be organized and happy. You need to be organized and knowing what you're going to do with your money, but you're not going to see this. Okay. You're just only going to see this. It's going to go from, um, ace of pentacles to the 10 of cups here where it's just going to be kind of emotional and maybe you might even do some emotional spending it, it, there's no longevity it won't be realized in the ten of pentacles things are realized it's there it's solid it's stable it's not going anywhere so the universe is like look we, we're going to give you this but if you if you don't know what you're going to do with it you're not going to see this you're not going to go from ace to ten so that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that it resonates. If it does, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come learn the Tarot with me. Tarot classes are linked below. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.